Hi, I'm Phil Webb, Principal Consultant with Select Business Solutions. Object-oriented metrics relates to the examination of how object-oriented code can be examined for quality reasons. Metrics have been a form of holy grail within the software engineering industry for years, buoyed by the fact that to truly create an engineered profession, one must have strict ways of measuring the outputs of the industry. We'll examine how object-oriented metrics have come to be set up for various layers of the object-oriented programming world. We'll explain how they are based on an accepted model of measurement, and then how the specific aspects of object orientation have been taken into account. Finally, we'll show how these approaches have been tested rigorously and stand up in practice. By this we mean that if code adheres to the metrics, then it's better quality code, as shown by how it's been used, maintained and updated in practice. In order to attack the topic of object-oriented metrics, we'll begin by examining why we need to have a separate topic from the normal software metrics that apply to code in general. We'll therefore look at some of the characteristics of object-oriented development that make this new topic necessary. We'll then look at how measurement must work in general terms, regardless of what is being measured, for it to be a valid approach. This will let us set out grounds for creating a company's own metrics and for critically reviewing the metrics that others might propose. We'll then look at a set of class design metrics that have been extensively studied, and then at how metrics have also been proposed at code level for various languages. Finally in this module, we'll examine the metrics associated with the project management of object-oriented language development and how a company policy for object-oriented metrics within projects can be set up. 